Okay, I'm just going to do a short video on um, just a basic uh, flow um, rugby offensive system. Uh, purpose of that system is to try to get your forwards moving kind of sideline to sideline and give our offense um, a pattern that we can follow. Uh, this is a pretty simple pattern that's used in rugby, and so there's lots of other uh, more modern patterns that you can use, but this is a good kind of starting point for a team sometimes if they want to get a pattern in place. So, uh, what I want to talk about first is that uh, in this system, um, we're just going to keep things really simple for the sake of this video. We're just going to have uh, four balls are going to be called one balls, okay? And that uh, one ball is just going to be a forward ball pod, as you can see here, getting uh, a ball off of nine. I wrote my drawings pretty bad, but you get the idea. So just a forward ball off of nine from a breakdown. Okay, is going to be called a one ball, and then we're just going to call a box ball off of nine is going to be what we're going to call a three ball for the sake of this um, video. So it's just going to be uh, any kind of back play off of nine is going to be called a three ball. Okay, so once we cleared that up, um, let's go back to, let's start just kind of from a typical scrum scenario. So if we're starting from a scrum, um, if you think about that ball coming out that first phase, it's probably going to be a box ball, which we're calling three balls. Um, and there's probably going to be a breakdown somewhere in the midfield. Uh, say my 13 goes into contact. Likely my 12 or uh, maybe the 15, maybe the, maybe the winger um, rocking that ball. Okay, we'll say for the sake of this example, the 15 rock that ball. Um, so if you think of the natural flow of the play, my nine's coming across, following the ball, probably 10. Might not want to get in that ruck. Uh, could be in some circumstances. Uh, they're opposing nine to be coming across. Um, <clears throat> obviously, they'd have some tacklers in here and probably their back's kind of setting up to defend in maybe the wide side, 15 in here somewhere. Uh, but breaking off of that scrum, probably the next forwards that are going to be able to get off of that scrum is our Lucy's, right? They're going to be able to break away from that scrum next. So in the flow pattern, what we want our Lucy's doing is we want them not coming shallow. So we don't want them coming to this side looking for the ball on this side of that breakdown. What we want to see them do is moving across the field and getting the ball on the flow side of that next breakdown. So that's where they're going to try and set the pot. So what I'd like to see my loose forwards do is say six, seven, and eight, setting up their pod. Uh, and we're going to call, for the sake of our pods here, we're going to call this the truck, uh, the trailer, and the tip. We'll talk about that stuff more later on. But uh, they're going to attack the far side of this ruck uh, off of nine. So we're just going to receive the ball off here. So that means the second breakdown is going to be a forward breakdown. Likely with your loose forwards there would be kind of a natural flow of things. Um, obviously, their looseies would be breaking off too, but we really want to try to make them try and get their forwards moving across the field. So one of the advantages of flow is we want to try and get their forwards moving to kind of wear out their forwards. Okay, and so that's why this breakdown comes on the, on the far side of that breakdown. Okay, um, so... These forwards would be having to come across, across to probably help out defensively. Okay. Next thing we're probably going to see happen here is our nine would still continue to follow the ball. Backs would probably start to realign either on the right or the left in this case, They depending on what the 10 seeing and depending on how far across the field they are. Uh, but I'm not going to worry about the backs for a second here. Uh, what we'd have then is, is the rest of the tight five would start breaking up. Okay, and once again, where we want them to attack until they get close to the sideline is flow side. So we want them attacking the other side of the breakdown here. So we'll say in this case, maybe the four and the five. Next one's easier to break off. Sometimes your props take a little longer to get moving, so we'll get the hooker here moving out. Uh, and then once again, forming a pod on flow side. And so that next attack would be, again, we're attacking the far side of the breakdown. And so this ball would come off nine here to that forward pod here. Now, depending on spacing, we could run another kind of forward breakdown. Uh, we'd probably get those props kind of moving, and maybe one of the Lucy's could link up with them, and we could go another forward phase if we wanted towards that sideline. Okay. 
Um, as we approach that sideline, though, um, eventually what we'd like to see happen as we get probably within the close to the 5, maybe between the 5 and the 15 somewhere, is then we're going to flip our flow of the field back the other way. Okay, and so by this point, we've had a couple forward breakdowns over here. Okay, we've pushed them all the way to the sideline. The defense by now might be stretched a little bit, trying to kind of get to all these kind of sideline breakdowns. Um, but by then, our backs should also be set again. And so that our, we can run another three ball, which is our back phase. Okay, back the other way. Okay, and so then we get another breakdown maybe in the midfield here. Maybe the 12 goes into contact. Uh, 10 could even be part of this ruck here. Okay. Um, what we see happen from there after this breakdown here is once again our forwards. Now we are flowing back to the right. We flow to the left for a bunch of phases. Now our forwards should know, okay, in, in our flow pattern, now we're going back to the right. And now we'd be setting up a pod going this way. And all this would be called by the 10. Our 10 would be saying, yep, yeah, forward ball or one ball right or one ball left. But we should understand where to set up because we should understand the next breakdown now should be flowing back to the right. Going into contact here. Hopefully we're breaking the gain line a little more than what I'm showing here in the video. Okay. Another forward pod. The next one should be coming again, flow side to this breakdown. Receiving the ball there. And we should be working all the way across the field, breakdown after breakdown, flowing and flowing until we get to the other sideline and then flip. Okay? So that's what flow pattern works looks like. Uh, we're moving sideline to sideline, going the far side of the breakdown is where we want to set up that next pod or the next phase. Uh, so we move that team, get that defense moving sideline to sideline, and that's kind of the purpose of that flow pattern. Okay, pretty basic video. Hopefully you guys understand that. Um, see you later.